I mean, it's not like every two weeks, my friend. It's like every other day we're having these stories now about mass shootings. The only way to change any of this is to completely wipe out the Republican Party. Somebody has to say it. Greg Abbott, the governor, is sick and demented. He has literally done nothing. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, the leadership, uh, Republican leadership in the state, they literally have done nothing. They have ignored the Uvalde parents. I was at the Texas Capitol uh, a few months ago uh, where they were rallying there. They are not going to do anything. The reality is what Roland Martin said is 100% true. As long as Republicans are in office, gun reform simply isn't going to get passed. Despite the fact that the United States has had 200 mass shootings just this year alone, we're not even six months into the year, despite the fact that well over 80% of U.S. citizens want things, common sense gun regulation, like you know, raising the age limit to 21 to purchase firearms or doing deeper background checks, expanding red flag laws. You know, generally speaking, the country's on board with things like this, but the Republican Party is so beholden to gun manufacturer money that they just aren't going to move. They continue to offer thoughts and prayers. You know, before when this type of stuff happened, maybe every couple of months, they could get away with it a little more. But now that it's happening literally every other day, every week, literally, I mean, there's, this rhetoric just simply isn't going to work from Republicans anymore. So unless people are talking about passing gun reform, they really should not be voted for. This happens everywhere in our country all the time, and especially in states like my home state and Roland's home state of Texas, um, where Republicans have created a climate of problem solving by bullet uh, and the availability of guns uh, to anyone, anywhere, anytime. They've made it easier and easier and easier, and they refuse to do anything about actually solving the problem. Listen, at the end of the day, more cancer doesn't cure cancer. More disease doesn't cure whatever illness that you have. Smoking more cigarettes isn't going to help get rid of the lung cancer that you have. Same thing with weapons. More guns equals more death. And we see this Republican states making it easier and easier for people to get weapons all, you know, just because, again, like I pointed out, they're beholden to gun manufacturers. But at the end of the day, I'm really curious to see how the American people are really going to respond to this, because it's come to a point where pretty much everybody accepts and understands that Congress and the Senate isn't going to do anything about this whatsoever. As long as Republicans are in office, nothing is going to be done about this. And so really, again, the only way to solve this is by participating heavier in the political process. That means getting progressives in office. That means getting people who have a history and a track record of fighting for gun reform, getting them into office, because otherwise mass shootings are just going to continue to happen on an every other day basis, if not a daily basis. So the only way to change this is to move these people out of office. There is no other way. And so, yes, we've seen what they've done when it comes to voter suppression. They want to remove voting locations from college campuses. But the way to counter this, you have to take these people out of office and put in people who are going to pass the laws. That is the only way, because it is clear they are not going to change the laws because they are in, so in love with guns and so in love with the Second Amendment crowd, they do not care to see bodies piled up on the sidewalk. I've stated before that the biggest problem facing Republicans policy-wise is the reversal of Roe v. Wade. That's why they didn't have a red wave in 2022, more than Trump, more than anything else. But the issue of not acting on gun reform is absolutely a close second behind, you know, taking abortion rights away from women. Everything that the Republican Party is doing is spitting in the face of middle class Americans and in the face of anybody who doesn't have the money, resources and power to just do things the way that they would like. But, you know, again, the base is becoming more and more extreme, more and more right wing because Republicans aren't willing to give an inch whatsoever. The Democrats barely give us anything, but this is an issue that they're much better on. Democrats have been trying to pass gun reform for quite some time. Now, obviously, they could fight harder, yes, but at the end of the day, that boils back to the fact that we have to get better people in office. Otherwise, the issue of gun violence in this country just simply isn't going to change.